In this video I'll show you how to paint characters in Photoshop. Let's get right into it. First I start by picking a few images to use as reference. In the beginning I try not to overwhelm myself with too much detail, so for now I will only focus on some key elements and I will add additional items later on. This is what I ended up using for this painting. After that I get right into creating the line art. For that I use a square brush with soft edges and the pen pressure enabled for both the shape dynamics and transfer. I will then start with a rough sketch and work my way up until I have a finished line art. This will act as guidance going forward. A quick tip, as I'm working on both the line art and the rest of the painting, I constantly flip the canvas to reveal issues. This will give me a new perspective and it will make it easier to spot them. You can set this up in the keyboard shortcuts, just go under the view tab and look for flip horizontal to assign a key. I will then select a few colors and color variations, then lower the opacity of the line art and match everything together to create a single layer. Now it's pretty much all about soft edges and hard edges. Let me explain. First, the soft edges. These are mostly used to define round shapes. I do that by adding a shadow that follows the shape of the object and then mix everything together to create a smooth transition. For instance, to paint this part of the jacket, I'll first pick a warmer and darker color to create the outline of the shape, then mix everything together by picking different shades of color from each side. The transfer setting is the reason this works. In some cases like this one, I will add a second round of shading if I think the first one didn't provide enough depth. And here I will also add the lighting. I will pick a lighter color and add some lights that reflect from other surfaces on the shadow side and some direct lights on top of the jacket. Then I'll mix them up the same way I did with the shadows. Hard edges on the other hand are the complete opposite. If the soft edges will use a soft approach for transitioning from color to shadow and lighting, the hard edges will use a direct approach. And just by understanding how to use the different shades, you can pretty much create any effect you want. If I were to represent these two with an object, the soft edges will be represented by a sphere and the hard edges by a cube. And the character is pretty much just a multitude of spheres and cubes glued together to create a character, only a little more complex. These are the soft and hard edges I ended up using. And now that I got this set in place, I will just focus on adding additional details and make necessary adjustments to make everything look more interesting. There's three types of adjustments I might do at this stage. First will be the overall design. Sometimes the line art will look good just as line art but not look right after all the color and shading it's added. In my case, the face and hair didn't look right after I added the shading, so I had to make some adjustments to fix that. A second adjustment will be the colors. If I later decide that the colors I initially picked were not good enough, I can easily change them by selecting with the lasso tool the part I want to change, and then just by adding a hue and saturation on top, I can easily change it to whatever I want. And a third adjustment will be to check if I'm using a complete set of values, and adjust it if needed. I will first desaturate the painting using the hue and saturation, and then add the level tool on top to check the values. This will prevent me from having a flat painting. Here I'm looking for the Y line to spread completely from left to right. On the left side are the darker values, and on the right side are the lighter values. If the line spreads all the way, I got nothing to worry about, but if it doesn't, it means I'm lacking one of the values. In this case, I'm lacking darker values. So to fix this, it's pretty easy. I just go around the painting again and add darker values wherever I think will work. And the opposite for the lighter values, if I'm lacking those. And after about 20 or so hours of work, the painting is finished. If you got so far into this video, thank you so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe if this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.